Wow, it's another day, people. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this is the first time of you watching my YouTube video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you receive uh, a notification whenever I upload any video. Today, uh, I would like to talk about some of... Uh, some of the happenings in Nigeria, some of the breaking news. Uh, these two particular news, it has been something Nigerians have been really talking about, about the SARS thing, SARS killing so much people, whether they are criminals or not, and uh, many people holding different kind of protests against SARS, then uh, Uxibajo or the federal government later changed the name from SARS to uh, FSARX, just the federal, uh, just the F of a thing that really changed the name, but they still do the same, uh, the same job. But right now, the acting uh, inspector general of police, uh, Mohamed Adamu, as order the immediate disbandment of the federal sax this is the news this guy was appointed about a week ago and uh, he's been sworn in as the as the acting the inspector of uh, Gen uh, inspector general of police now he has made a very good move by disbanding the sacks which people have not really really like you know and another thing i would like to talk about is about article article trip to the united states because of his record of uh, corruption uh, there are so many allegations against him that there is no way he can travel to the united states of uh, uh, of, of america uh, so he traveled with uh, with Saraki, you know, to the to the UX, and it's been it's been the news. It's not supposed to be a news, but it's a news because so many people never thought he would be able to to travel to to the UX. Some say he, he got an. Uh, kind of immunity because he's running as a president and as a vice president, as a former vice president. And uh, and also he went as a aide with Saraki to the United, uh, to the to the UX. And when in UX, there was a protest against him, actually. <laughs> Friend Nigeria money, are you, are you like it already? Set of criminals. You want to go and spoil Nigeria again for the second time? It's not going to be possible. It's not going to be possible. You can't spoil Nigeria for the second time. Oh, People that is Nigerians in the US were so upset. In fact, they are upset about the the bad leaderships in Nigeria. And uh, Bo, uh, I mean, um, Atiku, I, I think, is one of the of the big player in Nigeria politics. So they disrupt some uh, some of the organized organized uh, conference they hold in uh, in in UX. So it works so so it works so so uh, disheartening, you know. <laughs> you know, I really don't know how to put this, but I think is is a welcome development to some. Is a is is a sabotage to some, you know, because sometimes some will say Nigeria is starting waking up, you know, fighting the oppressor. Some will say is a. Uh, it was from the opposition that organized the protest against him. But overall, I think the percentage that, that welcomed the idea is much. 
And another thing I would really like to talk about is the is a is an article named Thirty Corrupt People. You know, article presidential candidates of uh, People Democratic Party PDP has listed 30 corrupt persons working with President Umado Buhari. The list was released on Sunday by Frank Chaibo, Article Special Assistant on Public Communication. Just imagine, <laughs> this is Nigeria. When some people say these people are corrupt by mentioning names, they'll say don't mention names, don't mention names. But these are the big players that know themselves. Atiku have been in the political terrain for a very long time and was in the PDP some months ago. Right now he's in, he's in APC. Right now, PD, um, I mean, he was in, uh, sorry for my mistake. It was in APC a few months ago. Right now, is in PDP. They cross carpets as the like, you know. When some people, uh, in particular, come to say these people are corrupt, they have criminal record. Some will say, why will you call their names? Why will you say they are corrupt? Why are you so arrogant? Why do you say whatever you like without reasoning? Don't get it twisted. If Omo Yelishore was really lying by measuring their names, they would sue him to court. They have nothing against uh, Omo Yelishore, and he has, uh, he has openly said that whoever that said is lying, he should sue him, and he will open book for, for the person. So these are the list of, uh, of the names. Uh, special assistant on public communication to um, Atiku Abubakar released. He named prominent uh, members of the APC like Bola Tinobu, former Lagos State Governor and national leader of the APC, Abba Kiri, Kiri Chief of Staff to the President Mandi Buhari, Adam Soshomole, former governor of Edo State and uh, national chairman of the APC. Abdul Salam Salai Adamu, a serving senator and former governor of Nasarawa State. Baba Kelawa, former secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF. Fulari Koka, Lagos Associate socialite and director general of the Nigeria Tourism Development Corporation, NTDC, Lai Mohammed, the Minister of Information. The list also future Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, the Chief of Army Staff, Senator Hadi Sirika, the Minister of Aviation, Aviation, uh, Aisha Buhari, wife of the President, uh, Adi Dayot Thomas, the Executive Director, Nigeria, I mean, the Executive Director, National Film and Video Console Board, Adamu Muazu, former Governor of Bounty State, Iola Omisuri, former Osun State uh, Deputy Governor. Man, the list is much. <laughs> Let's go on. Hey, Abdul Sarat Rachid Maina, former Pension Board Box. Senator Musilu Obanikoro, former Minister of State for Defense. And O.G. Uzo Kahlo, former governor of Abia State. The statement also listed Governor Isa Yakuda of Bounchi State, Senator Goswil Akbabio, Vice President Yemi Usibajo, Governor Abdullahi Uman Granduji of Kano State which everybody call a gondola, the gondola, because the guy was just chucking in, you know, 
so much money in his uh, in, in his pocket. Uh, Alaji Seminu Turuki, a two-term former governor of Jigawa State, Alaji Junand Abdullahi Buhari in law, who is also the executive secretary, Border Communication Development Agency, BDCA. Alaji Aliu Womanko, a former governor who is currently in charge of Bounty Campaign Sokoto State, Hope Uzodima, the APC governorship candidate in Imo State, Ruti Miyamechi, seven minister of transportation and uh, director general of uh, Bounty Campaign Organization, and Alaji Abdul Aziz Yari. Governor of uh, Zamfara State. Others are Mai County Baru, the Group Managing Director, Gen uh, Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation (NNPC), and Ayodele Oke, the Suspended Director General of National Intelligence Agency (NIA). Just imagine that. So the credit go to Sarah Reporters. As you can see, I'm reading from the Sarah Reporters page. Uh, this was not made up. It is, is a news. This is the socks of the news. And this is so, so disheartening for, for, for so many Nigerian politicians are so corrupt. Not one or two, but just so much. And these are the ones that he say they are corrupt because they are not in PDP. If the APC was to release their own list of corrupt people, you will see, I think it will be more than 30. <laughs> you know, combined, all Nigeria politicians are corrupt. It's not up to a a percentage or one percent that is not corrupt in, 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 in Nigeria politicians. And that's why Nigerians youths really need to wake up, you know, they need to wake up and stand on their faith, you know, support the younger candidates like Omoye Leshewure, Fela Durutuye, uh, Kinsley Mongalu and uh, Obi Ezekwisele. You know, so you need to support these young candidates, you know, especially Omo Yele who have really displaced on, 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 on marchable, you know, momentum, you know, waking up the young, the, the, the young spirit in our, in, in, in our youth, you know. So this is it today. Uh, I'll be looking forward of doing more videos on, on Nigeria. Uh, uh, on Nigeria politics, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the the bell icon so that you receive uh, a video notification whenever I upload. Thank you very much.